Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. And uh, yeah, 2021, we made it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what a year 2020 was. So what happened? What what just happened? Everyone's a little bit confused, a little bit shell-shocked, and we're still not out of this. Uh, but what I wanted to cover in this video is what just happened. Okay, so we've just entered the year 2021. Last year was the year 2020. And of course, we've all heard of the Deep State's plan of Agenda 21. Uh, now, I didn't hear this talked about a lot last year, and I, di I didn't really even sort of think about it. It didn't really occur to me uh, until just recently that this is what 2020 was. It was the lead up for Agenda 21. And of course, what happened? When we hit Agenda, uh, when we hit 2020, talk of Agenda 21 seemed to stop and it was all suddenly Agenda 30 for 2030. Uh, because they didn't want us to realize that we, that this was the setup. We were going into Agenda 21, 2021. So this is what it is, guys. Nothing at all to do with any, any health crisis. Um, of course, nothing to do with any economic crisis. That we know that was all. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that that was all just created. They just decided to crash the economy, uh, and uh, they're trying to do that. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, they're getting resistance. I didn't think that they would get. Is so their plans have definitely not gone to uh, haven't come to fruition. They haven't gone the way that they thought they would. Which is, you know, a shout out to everyone out there. You know, everyone who's been sharing information, who's been commenting, watching videos, making memes, you know, going out, uh, you know, to protests and things, all this stuff, this is, this has woken the world up. And of course, in the middle, you know, of all of this, we've just had the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, uh, the first time in 800 years. And at the same time, uh, we changed age. Uh, we, we went into the age of Aquarius. Uh, now, that's the first time in 26,000 years we've been there, but the first age change in 2,500 years. So a lot of stuff happened uh, in a very short time as far as um, Earth energies and astrological influence, shall we say. And, and of course, there is that saying that um, millionaires don't use astrologers, but billionaires do. So all these, you know, these parasitic entities that wish to rule us, they, they, they use astrologers. They, they, they go off the sky clock. They don't go off the time that they give us. All these clocks and this, you know, log in at eight o'clock and work and then you can have your break here and your lunch here. That's all for us. That's all to keep us as slaves and to keep us uh, confused and to basically to stop seeing what they're doing is really what it is. Because as we saw in 2020, those jobs didn't do anything. They were just, they were just created to keep us um, distracted. They really were because what happened? Everyone lost their job. Like, like seriously, well, I think there's you know, probably half the workforce is probably still off. So those jobs weren't needed. You know, they've just disappeared, and so they should. And we need to all start working on you know the world that we want. Uh, now that we've got time, we've had time to think. We understand that these you know slave jobs were just ridiculous. They, they were designed to keep us down and keep us, you know, it's a job, right? Just above broke, just over broke. Uh, but we don't need the, we, we've learned a lot. We did get the 2020 vision, definitely in 2020. Uh, at least I did. Uh, I'm sure, I know lots of you did. Not everyone in the world. We've still got, obviously, you know, the mask holes <laughs> running around abusing people. Um, by the way, if, if anyone does come up to you with a mask and starts questioning you about why you're not wearing a mask, Ask them why they support um, suicide 
and mental uh, and not helping people with mental health. Ask them that because that's what we should be doing because the only casualties really of 2020 was people with mental health. Uh, there were so many suicides. That was the spike. That was the epidemic that, you know, was suicide, mental health. That's not even mentioning, you know, domestic abuse and violence and all this stuff that's gone on when people, you know, have been put in a position where they've lost their income, their income's been, um, you know, reduced, so they can still live, but not, not the way they want to. Um, you know, people who didn't necessarily like each other that much were forced to spend a lot of time together. Um, and people got bored and they had money to do things like drink and, you know, drugs and all this kind of stuff. So, and, and that was definitely part of the plan. So, so that, you know, that was the, the epidemic. And that is the epidemic. It's got nothing to do with, um, the V word because they don't exist. If, you know, if you haven't looked into it yet, look into <laughs> germ theory, uh, virology. Well, they tell you it's not true. It's not true at all. Um, we only think it's true because it's been put in our education indoctrination system for the last hundred or so years, you know, and that that's why pandemics have been used again and again and again, uh, you know, back to the Spanish flu, you know, it was a big one, they were wearing masks back then, and then we've had, you know, these outbreaks, apparently, uh, over the last century, but all scams, because if they were real then how did the population keep growing so fast? You know, people, no one, in a, in a pandemic, everyone should know someone who's dead. Uh, so, so that's not we, what we went through at all. What we went through was uh, implementations of Agenda 21 plans. Okay, if you look at, look at Ag uh, Agenda 21, it says no one will be able to own property. And Klaus Schwab, the head of the World Economic Forum, came out and said, no one will be able to own property. Uh, what, what was the quote? You will own nothing and you will be happy. Agenda 21. Uh, locking people in their houses and restricting travel and movement. Agenda 21. Get it out and have a read, uh, read of it. Because uh, that's the whole environment bit. And of course, they've been pushing global warming. Um, when everyone got onto that and said, hang on, uh, it's not warming. You know, and it's not a globe. <laughs> Uh, you know, so there's no global warming. So what did they do? They just changed the name to climate change. Because that way, then they've got a broader uh, brush with which to give us, you know, um, their, their narrative of, of why the world's about to die and all these things are happening. If it's just global warming, they can say, oh, it's just heating up. But when it's uh, climate change, oh, so much more. It's heating up and it's, it's the ozone and it's the carbon dioxide and it's... It's all this stuff. And, and, and as soon as I heard about global warming and what was that back in the nineties, I think, when they started pushing it, my first thought, and you know, I wish everyone got, had this thought because then we'd never be in this position. My first thought was the only people creating these problems are the big companies and the governments. There's not millions of people going out cutting down trees and, and, you know, polluting and everything. It's, it's all, um, you know, these, you know, global companies, these big oligarchs, they're the ones that are, that are um, and they're the ones that are destroying the, you know, the forest as well. But they tell us, no, you can't go there because you'll cut it down and you'll, you'll be bad and you'll hurt the environment, you'll kill nature. But it's the big companies that do that. Okay, it's not people. And it's the big companies that pollute. And it's big companies that, you know, pump their pollution into the ocean and into the streams and don't care. And who, um, you know, put, make toxic workplaces, get people sick, kill them, don't care. Uh, they get out of it all with law. You know, they don't want, you know, these get expensive lawyers and they have no morals, no ethics, these people. They're literally just raping the planet and, and us at the same time for whatever they can get because they are parasites. You know, they are the middlemen. They, they these parasites, these archons, they created the middlemen. Uh, you know, they're, they're like, they're like, they're like, you know, a really bad used car dealer uh, with, with really bad intentions. You know, they'll tell you anything uh, to, to get you to buy their story. And then once you've bought it, they don't care. They're out of there. They don't want any repercussions. 
and they definitely don't want any responsibility for their actions. And these are the people that are trying to tell us how we should live? I don't think so. You know, if all the big companies, if they all went up, and this is the thing, if the world, if the world was going to end through global warming, if that narrative was even true, all these big companies would stop immediately. They would find other ways. We know we've got alternative tech already. They would be using that instantly because they wouldn't want to, you know, kill themselves, would they? So that, so that's a crap narrative too. It's just all, it, it's full of holes. It's, it's, it's agenda 21 is what it is. This whole thing about humans are these nasty, warlike, angry, aggressive little creatures. Uh, and so we must be controlled, you know, by the parasites so that we don't destroy our, our world. When in reality, the ones that are destroying the world are the parasites. And that's why they're evil. Because evil is live backwards. Okay, we live. Nature lives. They don't. They're evil. So they're the reverse of us. And, and they want to destroy the creation. Destroy the live. Destroy everything living. Because they don't like it. <laughs> they don't like us. We, we're the creation. And they, they control everything. They control the narrative by controlling our thoughts. Because our thoughts create the reality. We're the creative force here. We're the power down here, not them. The only thing they've got is if they can control what we think, then they can control what we create. Okay, so to change this whole paradigm, all we need to do is uh, understand that we've been programmed and, and that everything is up for grabs. Everything needs to be questioned. And we need to start thinking through our hearts and making decisions through our hearts and our, our morals and our ethics as, as true men and, and man. And the word man means mankind, as in men and women. It's not a male thing. Uh, this is something else that's been changed in our language and we've ended up with all these terms that are legal terms, not lawful terms, you know, persons and people and all this. So... If you hear me say man, I'm not being sexist. Uh, it's just that's what the meaning of the word is. It's, it's like humankind, mankind. And, and that's a good word too, isn't it? Mankind. It's not man aggressive. It's not man warlike. It's not man unkind. It's mankind. Because that's what we are. We are kind. We're kind hearted people. We have morals. They don't. You know, and we know this. The, these these people who, who, and I'm just going to say who were controlling this because they are not in control anymore, by the way, guys. They're not. They really pushed this narrative and they have one playbook and that's all they had. Uh, and so they just kept pushing it and pushing it. And all, all they did was expose them. Their one greatest power was their one greatest weakness. You know, as soon as we started to question things and it was all to do with changing of ages, uh, you know, energy changing and rising. So we got a better view. We got to see from a, a helicopter view from above. And we, so 2020 vision is what it was, right? That's what we were talking about in January. As Australia was burning, uh, doesn't that seem like a very, very long time ago? Very, it seems like a different world, and, and it, it may have been. And the whole Mandela effect and all this stuff, timelines switching around, that something weird was going on with time as well in, in the last couple of years, but definitely in the last you know, month or two of 2020, it was very strange. But I must say, it seems a bit different in 20... It, it already seems to be calmer and a bit flatter and the sun and the sky look a bit better, the light's a bit better. So I, I'm, I'm not scared at all, guys. We, we've won. They've lost. This is just uh, cleaning up the mess at the moment. You know, because by the... By their actions, they will tell you who they are. Uh, the other, another quote that I, I, I often think of is, I'm pretty sure this is from the Bible, um, you'll know them because they are arrogant. You know, you'll know these, these archons, these devils, because they're arrogant. Now, how arrogant. And this is, um, it's the Democrats, guys, it really is. This is, as far as U.S. politics at the moment, this is no longer, you know, the two uh, wings of one bird. That that's that narrative disappeared in America probably five years ago. So that's not what's been going on this year. It hasn't been, you know, left against right and this this sort of, uh, you know, 
pretend you've got a, a choice kind of thing. This is really, uh, this is good against evil. I mean, just look at it. Look at who's, do a bit of research if you haven't already into the people on the left side and you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying. They are, they are devils. Uh, you know, that they, they, they need to leave our, our world. <laughs> and the right is for good and for the future and for freedom. And that's what this whole American election is. And that's why it's polarized the whole world. It's like it's a world election. Uh, and it's still going, obviously. And so I've never really been worried about this stuff. And, and I, I know I, I've been very lucky. I, all of 2020, uh, I was in Perth. And the worst we got here was they shut the borders down. Actually, for, I think it was three or four weeks at the very start in March, they actually shut the internal borders down so you couldn't leave Perth. You couldn't sort of travel from town to town within the state. But yeah, that lasted, I don't know, maybe even two weeks, not that long. So apart from that, it was just, you couldn't leave the state. The borders were shut. Uh, but, but Western Australia is the size of Texas at least. It's a big state. Uh, we had no mandatory masks. We had no lockdowns. Uh, we just all got sacked from our jobs. We had that. Everyone got sacked. Um, but then nothing. I've really just been watching this thing like it's a movie. It hasn't, I haven't really been affected by it. It's very strange. You know, we obviously, you know, we had the great toilet paper event. Um, and, you know, people, you know, were watching the news and a few people started wearing masks and going a bit silly, but, but in Perth, uh, yeah, like no one's wearing masks. I think some of the Uber drivers have to. I think that's one of their rules. I've got an Uber and he was wearing a mask. Um, but yeah, so nothing. Um, so yeah, you know, to, to anyone out there who actually went through something, you know, through the, the crap that was going on, you know, being separated from your loved ones, having to wear face snappies, um, you know, all this stuff. Anyone who, who you know... Look, look what happened in Victoria. Anyone who got beaten up by police and all this kind of stuff, jailed, ripped out of their homes. Um, yeah, I mean, that sucks. And um, my thoughts go out to you, but this is the thing. We get to change this now. They were showing their hand. They, they showed us in one foul swoop that, that the police weren't there to serve us and the police, the people giving the police their orders weren't there to serve us. So now we can make different decisions and we can get rid of these institutions because we are the power, guys. We've always been the power. And the only thing that they had against us is they made us believe we weren't the power and that we didn't have the power. But we are and we do. And now we're going to start using it, aren't we? Because we're going to create the world that we've all been dreaming about, talking about, seeing. You know, we've exposed so much in the last, you know, couple of years, as far as history, especially, but just uh, in general, uh, I just did an interview with Jay Widener, and uh, we were talking about how, you know, just how attitudes have changed from um, 10, 20 years ago, because of course Jay was <laughs> doing this research and talking this way, you know, 30 years ago and more. Um, I mean, I was too, I guess. <laughs> I was an early starter. Um, but yeah, just, just, you know, five, six years ago, I was in a lot of Facebook groups and, you know, they were all to do with the, basically it was the law and the monetary system back then is what was being exposed. And I remember just for saying things like the Federal Reserve is privately owned and all money is um, created with interest. So it's basically all created with debt attached. For saying things like that, I got hammered, guys. I like I, I would have people coming to my page on Facebook to abuse me, and they, and they would do, just keep coming back. And and there were threads that went for weeks, like seriously. And they were just these big abusive threads. And it was interesting because even back then, um, you know, the people who had done a bit of research, you know, they were the nicer people. The people who were saying that we're idiots, they would just go. And they stop at nothing and they abuse people and it's, it's the exact same, exact same behavior that we've seen this year, uh, with the left side and all this, um, you know, BLM, um, you know, peaceful <laughs> protesting kind of stuff. Uh, exact same thing. Um, they don't want to, 
I don't like people questioning. The thing is, and this has probably changed a lot, but before 2020, um, people liked to believe that they were right. And if you said something, and it, you, you didn't even have to challenge them, if you just said something that they believe challenged their, their worldview, you would get attacked. Um, instead of them, you know, going and getting more information, asking questions, they would just attack you. And that's what's gone on last year, uh, 2020, of course, with all the SJWs out there. Um, they, they, because they have no information, they have no base to come from. And this is why, you know, being autodidactic, thinking for yourself, having original thought is so important because that's, that's our superpower, guys. That's our superpower. That's, that's why I'm so into thought thinking for yourself, getting different points of view, because the only power they have over us is to control that, to control what we think. That's their only power. That's it. And so when we take that power back, we, we don't just take back our, our, our mind and our thoughts and our you know, ability and our freedom to think what we want. We actually take back the, the power of creativity, of creating the world because that's what we're doing collectively and individually. Individually, obviously, what we focus on we get in our immediate life. And that's all that we can do. We, we can't, we can't, you know, you can't um, in, influence someone else's life. You can't sit there focusing this person will, you know, get good things or bad things. That doesn't work. <laughs> It'll only work on you. So this is why if you think bad thoughts about someone else, if you're walking around and, and or lots of people or the world and you're like, the world sucks and oh, rah, 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 your mind doesn't understand the outer world. It doesn't know it exists. It only knows the inner world exists. So it thinks you're talking about you. So keep that in mind as well. Um, it's a whole, you know, when you're pointing a finger, three pointers, three are pointing back. Um, you know, that, that means, you know, you might be giving a quarter of the energy out, but three quarters of that, quarters of that energy of what you've just said, of that spell are coming straight back to you. So you're, you're the one that gets affected, uh, when you cast hate and, and anything, doubt, this, you know, and that's why last year, um, I really did try and stay away from any of the fear, the fear mongering, because ultimately that's their only weapon is fear. And their only tool is uh, misrepresentation, is it? You know, to, to create this facade to make us think that things are not as they are and that things are as they would like them to be. Um, that's really their, their only weapon. And yet, uh, and fear, well, fear is their weapon and, that, and their tool is controlling our thoughts. And as, as I've said to, uh, before, if they control our thoughts and if they control uh, the thoughts of, of the mass, the, the majority, of people down here, then they control the future, they control the outcomes, because that's what we create through our thoughts. So don't buy into the fear. Uh, it's 2021. So we won 2020. <laughs> and now it's time to get off that fear train, off this confusion train, the crazy train, um, and really start to use intention and to, to to start to build the world that we want, you know, to start to rebuild businesses that are going to contribute and, and that are going to, you know, make this world that we, that we all want, that we all know, you know, we all know what this world's going to contain, what we want from it. So all we really need to do is, is just, uh, you know, act on that intention and, and keep focused on it and just not, because everything else is just distraction, guys. This is what all the media and that, they just want to distract us, distract us, distract us so that we, don't go and build that world that we want because in that world, the parasites are obsolete. They, they, you know, they can't live off us. It, it, and, and we don't need them. And this is what we really need to realize is everything they offer is just crap. It's just, you know, smoke and mirrors. Um, you know, it's just the <laughs> fluffy bunny syndrome, uh, things that we don't need that really, uh, you know, they may look like they enhance our lives, but many of them don't. And many of them, you know, can, but they're just being used wrong. I mean, even TV. You know, I used to think as a kid, you know, if this was full of good information, this TV, you know, um, it'd be, it'd be good. You know, I, I used to wonder why they didn't put a lot more educational stuff on there, because it was such a useful medium. But 
Now we know why, because they didn't want us to know that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's how you, you th how you use things. You can sit down and you know watch Netflix all day. I mean, there's not much good you can do with the telly these days, really. Maybe watch some documentary videos, <laughs> videos, DVDs. But ultimately, everything you know, we we ultimately get the choice of what we do with what we're given. You know, like our computers, we can use computers to research, uh, to send out messages, and to share information, or we can use, use them to sit and watch. You know whatever people use them for, cat videos, I really don't know, sitting on Facebook all day, um, you know, things that, that don't uh, enhance us as beings and that, that don't enhance our experience. And that's that's the double-edged sort of tech. And that's why, you know, that's why we all, we don't want to get rid of it. We know there's something good there, uh, but they keep using that against us. So time to see through the, the facade, you know, the, the veil's lifting. It's, it's pretty much halfway up. We can see underneath it. And yeah, it's time to make 2021 the year that we uh, get the world back for us and create the world that we and our children and their children all deserve so much. So there you go, guys. A uh, bit on what happened in 2020. And this uh, is a bit of a different format for me. As you know, there's tons of stuff going on uh, with social media, with YouTube. Don't even know how much longer YouTube will be you know, up and productive to tell you the truth. Um, you've probably noticed the algorithms now is it's ridiculous. So uh, you'll find links down below. Um, pretty much all my videos are up on BitChute now, and I'm also getting them up on Odyssey. And you'll find the links to those below. And also, thank you to everyone who supports this channel. Of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Share this content out if you enjoy it and think people will get value from it. And of course, thank you to everyone who who does it already, because that's really the, the only way that I'm growing at the moment, because uh, YouTube definitely don't promote me very much. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for all the shares, all the likes, all the comments. It really is appreciated. And also, of course, thank you to everyone who supports me in my work through Patreon, PayPal, and my merch store. And if you would like to do that, you'll find links below. And like I said, this is a different format. This is... Uh, more of a podcast type format, I guess. This one, <laughs> not very well constructed. But yeah, let me know what you think uh, of, the, of the format. So I'd like to get onto different topics. Um, do you like this kind of format? Uh, it, the reason I've given, I'm giving it a go is a, a lot of people have been saying that they uh, you know, listen to me when they're doing this and this and this. So it looks like a lot of people aren't sitting down watching videos. They're rather listening to me. So I thought if I make some podcasts and that's what all I need to do is listen to me. So let me know what you think. Do you like the format? Do you want me to uh, make some more? Is the time good? Uh, I think this one's about half an hour or so. Um, yeah, is that a good time or would you rather something longer, like an hour? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and of course, happy new age, happy new year. Let's make this one an awesome one for everyone involved. All right, guys, thanks for sharing some time with me. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.